Okay, thank you, you uh, for your kind introduction and uh, thank you for giving me an opportunity to discuss uh, some of our recent results. Uh, today, I will talk about a CH functionalization reaction using a bidentate directing group. Especially, I will focus my discussion on the rhodium catalyzed CH alkylation reaction with orifice. The reaction proceed, apparently proceeds through a new mechanism which involves the generation of rhodium curving intermediate. Okay, so I, don't, I, I believe I don't need to explain the importance CH bond activation in this symposium, so I skip this slide. Uh, the chelation assistance is one of the most uh, reliable and powerful methods for the regional selective CH functionalization reaction. And in fact, a wide variety of directing groups has been developed today. Uh, developed today. And however, the design of new, new types of directing groups still continue to be important in terms of developing new types of CH functionalization reactions that cannot currently be achieved when commonly used directing group are used. So in this context, uh, we are interested in using bidentate key ratio system. And of course, uh, we are not the first group to have used the bidentate directing group in CH functionalization reactions. Among the many uh, examples, the pioneering example of the bidentate directed CH functionalization reaction was reported by Nihon Noya Company, a Japanese agricultural chemical company. Uh, researchers at this facility, uh, facility reported the palladium catalyzed ionization of CH bond in aromatic diamines to produce a compound with insecticidal uh, properties. <clears throat> so the substrate contained two amide groups and therefore contained two CH bond, but only the upper CH bond was selectively activated. While the reaction mechanism was not discussed because this reaction was reported in a, a patent application, the reaction apparently proceeds through via the, uh, apparently proceed via the complex A, which contains nitrogen oxygen bidentate key ratio system, as shown in the bottom left. Uh, but one of successful examples was reported by Douglas and co-workers in 2005. Uh, they use H-aminocumarin or picolin amide as the nitrogen nitrogen bidentate directing group. And remarkably, they were able to achieve catalytic activation of unactivated sp 3 CH bond, which was difficult to act, uh, which was difficult to achieve in the year 2005, and continue to be challenging today. And uh, so, nevertheless, a bidentate chelation assisted CH functionalization reaction had remained a relatively undeveloped, undeveloped area of research when we initiated this project. So, we started this project around 2000, in 2008, and uh, there were only three papers dealing with this subject, and all three involved the uh, use of palladium acetate as the catalyst. Uh, in 2009, uh, we reported the first example of the uh, uh, ruthenium zero catalyzed reaction using bidentate key ratio system. So this is a reaction we uh, reported in 2009. So the reaction of aromatic amide that contained pyridinyl methyl amine moiety as the nitrogen nitrogen bidentate directing group with carbon monoxide in the presence of triruthenium dodecacarbonyl gave uh, squishing in it as the carbonylation product. And remarkably, this uh, new developed uh, system was also successfully applied to the carbonylation of unactivated sp 3 CH bond in aliphatic amides. So, uh, encouraged by this promising result, we were prompt to pursue this type of chemistry further. So, uh, in subsequent studies, uh, we reported the first use of nickel zero in 2011 and uh, ruthenium two and nickel two in 2013 and rhodium one complexes in 2014 as catalysts in CH functionalizations using a bidentate key ratio system. Uh, since then, uh, the number of studies related to CH functionalization reactions using a bidentate key ratio system. Uh, uh, have increased year after year, and now the various catalysts have been used as a catalyst. 
So the combination of uh, transition metal catalyst and nitrogen nitrogen binding they directly group have now emerged as powerful method for the uh, CH bond activation reaction. So since our initial report on the use of an A2 aminoquinoline directing group in NICO2 catalyzed CH functionalization reactions in 2013, as shown at the, at the top. Uh, we published more than 10 papers on this subject and more than 50 uh, papers in which the same system was used have been reported by other groups. Uh, before our paper appeared in the literature, a nickel catalyzed CH functionalization reaction had limit, have been limited to specific substrate that contain an acidic CH bond. So the CH, uh, only acidic CH bond was applicable to the nickel catalyzed CH functionalization reaction. However, a combination of nickel catalysts and the use of nitrogen nitrogen bidentate direct, directing groups have now emerged as powerful method for the nickel catalyzed CH functionalization reaction. However, all examples involve the use of a specific and st a strong directing group, such as aminoquinoline. So, but we recently uh, uh, we recently reported on a new catalytic system in which bidentate directing group is not needed. Uh, we successfully achieved the oxidative cycle addition of simple aromatic amides with alkynes. So in this reaction, no bidentate directing group is required. So a key to the success of this reaction is the use of a T butoxide. So even a catalytic amount of T butoxide works. So now the nickel catalyzed CH functionalization reaction enters a new generation. However, uh, this topic is beyond the scope of the lecture today. And so uh, I will focus my discussion on the rhodium catalyzed reaction. Uh, so we reported, uh, we reported the rhodium catalyzed CH alkylation of aromatic amide with alpha, beta, and saturated esters in 2014 and styrene in 2015. Uh, the, the reaction pattern is very simple in both cases. So that CH bond is added across the CC double bond of an activated olefin. However, uh, the reaction was found to proceed through a new mechanism, which involves the generation of a rhodium carbine intermediate from the olefin. So I don't want to go into detail in each reaction. But instead, I will focus um, on the reaction mechanism. Uh, to gain insight into the reaction mechanism uh, for CH alkylation reaction with a styrene, uh, we carried out a deuterium labeling experiment where a deutylated aromatic amide was uh, were reacted with palamethoxystyrene. The obtained result was very, very complicated. So as you can see in the bottom left, a significant amount of HD exchange to, uh, occurred at the ortho position in the benzene ring and benzylic methyl group and the two position of a quinoline ring in the recovered amide. And as you can see in the top left, uh, top right, uh, deuterium atoms were incorporated into both of the methylene carbons in the product. So the result of this, uh, this uh, deuterium labeled experiment are too complicated to permit us to propose a reaction mechanism when the deutylated aromatic amide was used as a substrate. So uh, to collect additional information regarding the reaction mechanism and to simplify the situation, the reaction using, uh, the reaction using deutylated study was conducted. Uh, so there are two generally accepted mechanisms for the CH bond alkylation reaction with olefins. Uh, one is hydronometallation and the other one is uh, carbometallation. And if the reaction were to proceed through a uh, hydrometallation, or carbometallation process, the proton content in the methylene carbons in the product should be uh, 0H at the alpha position and 1H at the beta position. So uh, irrespective of the mechanism, the same result would be expected to be obtained. However, uh, so this is the, uh, the result we obtained. Uh, the expected product, uh, expected product was shown in the bottom right. So, uh, 0H at the alpha position and 1H at the beta position. But the product we obtained was uh, 
shown here. So uh, we observed a uh, uh, duty uh, proton was detected, one H and one H at alpha position and one H at uh, uh, beta position. So uh, in this stage, uh, we are not uh, positioned to uh, rationalize the reaction mechanism. So I will come back to the mechanism later on. And we also found that the alpha, beta, unsaturated lactons also participate in the CH bond alkylation reaction uh, with orifice. And uh, But unexpectedly and curiously, the CC bond occurs between the ortho, uh, between the ortho carbon and the carbon adjacent to the oxygen atom. And also we found that the uh, dihydrofuran also participate in the reaction. And uh, in, uh, so uh, irrespective of the position of the CC double bond in the dihydrofuran, uh, CC bond formation took place only uh, between uh, the ortho position and carbon next uh, uh, adjacent to the oxygen atom of dihydrofurans. So we decided to use this reaction to collect additional information on the mechanism. So this is the, uh, the result of the deuterium labeling experiment. And as you can see, uh, the bottom right, a significant amount, even for the short reaction time, a significant amount of HD exchange took place only at the ortho position. Uh, curiously and unexpectedly, a deuterium atom was incorporated in the THF ring only at the alpha position, and no deuterium atoms were detected at any of the other positions in the THF ring in the product. Only deuterium atom is detected, uh, detected at, at the alpha position of the THF ring. The both of the ortho carbon, so the both of the ortho carbon and ortho hydrogen atom in aromatic Mi were attached to the alpha carbon of the THC ring. This uh, result clearly indicates that the hydrometallation and the carbometallation, which are commonly accepted mechanisms for the CH bond alkylation reaction with orifice, are not involved in our uh, CH alkylation reaction. And we finally be able to propose that the mechanism involved the generation of curving, uh, rhodium curving intermediate. So based, based on this result, uh, this is uh, our proposed mechanism. So the first, uh, the coordination, coordination of uh, quinoline nitrogen to rhodium one followed by oxidative addition of NH bond gives a rhodium hydride species, A. And insertion of orifin into hydride rhodium a bond to give the complex B. Uh, after the generation of HX, uh, the carbene complex C is generated. And from uh, this complex, there are two possibilities. One is uh, oxidative addition of the ortho CH bond to rhodium center gives a uh, complex D. And hydride migration takes place from rhodium onto the carbene carbon to generate E. Or uh, direct conversion from C to E is alternative mechanism. Now you have a, a complex E, and from complex E, reductive elimination, uh, protonation uh, gives the final product, and rhodium one is regenerated. Uh, so this uh, proposed mechanism involving the generation of rhodium carbene complex is consistent with the deuterium leveling experiment. Uh, deuterium leveling result in which uh, ortho carbon and ortho deuterium atom both were attached to the same carbon of THA ring. And this proposed mechanism is also supported by the experimental result using a uh, styrene D8. So in which one deuterium atom is missing from the product because uh, it, is, it is eliminated, uh, it is eliminated from uh, it is eliminated as a DX from the complex B. And of course, uh, we have no direct evidence, but uh, so we, uh, we, collab we, uh, we decided to collaborate with theorists. And we, now we have a collaboration with uh, Professor Pendu, a University of Pittsburgh, United States. And uh, according to their preliminary calculations, 
our proposed mechanism is energetically feasible and according to their uh, preliminary uh, calculation, the generation of carbene complex is the rate dominant state. So uh, we found that uh, acrylic ester, styrene, uh, alpha, beta, unsaturated lactones, and um, maleimide also participate in the CH bond alkylation reaction. So next, I move on the norgolonin. Uh, there are uh, 40 or 50 papers on the CH bond alkylation reaction with norgolonin. But except one uh, specific examples, all examples involved the uh, exoselective reaction. But in our reaction, we observe the formation of, uh, we observe the endoselective reaction. And after the optimization of the reaction conditions, uh, we obtained uh, endoselective, uh, the ratio, uh, endoselectivity was around 14 to 1. And the presence of pivotic acid is not essential for the reaction to proceed, but uh, the addition of uh, carboxylic acid improved the endoselective, uh, endoselectivity. So this, uh, uh, so I don't want to go into detail, but in all cases, uh, endoselective, uh, endoselective product was uh, were obtained as a major isomer. And not only norbornin, but also uh, ben benzofused uh, uh, norbornin, naphthalene-fused uh, norbornin, or the other compound also, uh, participate in this CH bond alkylation reaction, and in all cases, uh, endoselective reaction was observed. So, uh, in this slide, I will show you uh, that the why we obtained endoselectivity. So, uh, so we generate a normal uh, carbene complex, and oxidative addition of ortho CH bond gives the uh, hydride rhodium species and H migration takes place from exophase because exo is uh, access, accessible. Now you have a carbon rhodium bond uh, endo and reductive elimination, uh, reductive elimination in uh, uh, detention manner gives an endo product. Today I talked about the rhodium catalyzed uh, CH alkylation reaction with orifice. So, uh, so hydrometallation or carbometallation, which are generally accepted mechanisms for the CH bond alkylation reaction with orifice, but what is not involved in our CH bond alkylation reaction. But uh, the reaction apparently proceeds through a new mechanism that involves the generation of rhodium carbene uh, complex from orifice. So I would like to thank all of my coworkers, especially the people whose names are highlighted in red. Uh, Dr. Kanami Shibata initiated this project and he found the reaction with alpha beta unsaturated esters and uh, alpha, uh, alpha beta unsaturated uh, lactones. And the reaction with silen was contributed by uh, Takuma Yamaguchi and endoselective uh, reaction with norbornin was contributed by Satoko Natsui. Uh, today, uh, because of time limitation, I had no chance to discuss his chemistry, but uh, Chinese uh, student, Mr. He, is also involved in this project. So I would like to thank all of my coworkers. And, uh, and finally, thank you for your kind attention.